Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're taking a look at eCycles. eCycles is a build of Blender that offers and also delivers faster rendering to Blender users using cycles. Now the long and short version of the entire video is that this simply picks up your render and crunches your render time in half and in most cases you can achieve 10 times or even 40 times quicker render speed. Now for those who would like to take a look at this, you can actually get eCycles for less than a dollar right now. And one thing to keep in mind is the eCycles build is highly supported for RTX and also there is a compatibility assurance for those who would like to work with the GTX and older versions of the Nvidia CAD. So let's go ahead and take a look at some samples, see what and what eCycles does, compare eCycles with the default cycles that exist with Blender and see how much render time that you can get. Some of the scenes that we have right here or the scenes that we're going to be testing, we got them from the Blender demo page. So first off, we did go ahead to try out with something that is a bit more complex, you know, compared to getting just a simple product shot, which wouldn't really do so much trick. And what we have here is the Baba's shop. So we hit the render button without any changes for both e-cycles and cycles and cycles came up with 45 minutes and 32 seconds of render time while eCycles kind of knocked this one out of the pack by simply giving this same scene to us at 26 minutes and also 10 seconds. Now, you know, this might be a bit more complex and you might be saying, all right, I might not be rendering something that is this expensive, but just simply think about it. eCycles is giving you 23 minutes, which you can now use to do some more stuff. And by simply comparing this with a different scene now, we decided to go ahead and get the classroom scene same from the folks at Blender and then we tried this one with eCycles. Now the reason why we were trying this one is just to see how eCycles would deal with multiple lights coming in and you know all of those bounces and Cycles gave us this exact same scene with the same default settings. Cycles gave us this exact same scene for 33 minutes. All right, 33 minutes and 8 seconds is what we have for this one and then eCycles gave us exactly the same scene for 3 minutes and 11 seconds. Now these are within their default settings, there is no changes that has been done to any of these things and now we decided to move over to test out a couple more things. Now one thing which I already know that most of you guys may have been complaining about is cycles probably render volumetric a bit more faster or better compared to so many other builds of Blender that have been created before and that is why we decided to try this one out with a volumetric scene that we have. So by simply hitting the render button, cycles give us this volumetric metric scene at 17 minutes and 47 seconds and by hitting the render button for e-cycles e-cycles give us this very same scene for 3 minutes and 41 seconds i mean look at the look at the gap the gap is just way too much so let's talk about subsurface scattering because right now we'd like to take a look at how rendering with subsurface scattering would look like when working with both e-cycles and also cycles so for this one we went ahead and got a very lovely scene from the folks at Blender Foundation, which is known as Monster Under the Bed. So rendering this one did give us some very interesting results as well, as Blender with the default setting gave us this particular scene at 6 minutes and 50 seconds, and eCycles did give us this at 4 minutes and 49 seconds. Now it's pretty interesting to look at the two of them, compare them for yourself, and tell me what you think about this one in the comment section. Meanwhile, I did find out something about the rendering for, you know, e-cycles and also for cycles. As one of the things there is, in most cases when you render with cycles, you get to notice things like fireflies, especially for a very vanilla looking render like this one, which is pretty, pretty empty. We don't have any of the special effect that has to do with denoising, just plain good old render. So you would notice that in most cases you have things like fireflies, we have things like, you know, noises in some areas, which is potentially something you might probably not see while rendering with e-cycles. So this is more like it. For those who would like to go ahead and try this one out, you can simply get this for less than a dollar. Right now the Blender Market is doing a 25% off or you can simply get it at a dollar depending on the time you've seen this video. For those who like to get a pro version or maybe you want to get the membership version, you can simply take a look at the link in the description, go through and take a look at what they have on Gumroad and also take a look at what they have on Blender Market and do yourself the honors of saving time and getting faster render for yourself. Just think about it, you're getting four minutes for something that is just as simple as a scene like this and for Blender you're getting six minutes and right now you might be saying you know that's not so much of a time but when you calculate that two minutes times 
1440 frames which is approximately one minute if you're running by 24 frames per second you can now see that you have a whole lot of time that you're saving by just simply using a vanilla version which is like the light version of eCycles and creating some amazing things. One thing to keep in mind is eCycles is heavily supported for only Nvidia cards. So I haven't tried this with a you know AMD card and I probably don't know what the result would look like. But if you've tried this one out, please put that in the comment section so that we can hear from you and see what and what it entails. For those who like to try this with Mac, you can actually check out the Mac version and unlike using the default blender that only supports CPU rendering for Mac, if you do have an Nvidia graphic card or you have one of those eGPUs that you can connect to your Mac and actually get and get some good results with your rendering, you can also get this version and actually try these things for yourself. Tell me what you think about this and for those who like this video, simply give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.